Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I am bringing you a read today. I don't really know. I just felt like I wasn't done with read, so I'm not really labeling this one prior to. I'm going to see what cards come out, what messages you need to hear. I did pull the um, Island Time Wellness Love Oracle deck as well. So I'm using Lunart Design um, Tarot. So let's see what messages you need to hear. What does the collective need to hear? The person viewing this video. If you came across this video, it's meant for you to see. So let's see what you need to know. What does the collective need to know? We have the Three of Hearts. I'm sorry, the Three of Swords uh, came out in reverse, but my whole deck is reversed. So I feel like you guys are exhibiting, dealing with some stress, some heartache, some... Um, pain, uh, grief, loss. I feel like you're, you know, if you look at this card, there's three swords through the heart. So clearly dealing with something quite devastating or sad. Sorry if you hear my dog chomping on her bone. She's going to town on it and she's quite loud. So definitely dealing with lots of sadness. I feel like the two of swords. Yeah. I feel like you've been in a situation, um, that's full of sadness, two of swords and three of swords. Right. Um, and you're kind of feeling stuck at this crossroads. You're kind of feeling like you don't know which way to go, which path to pick. Um, you feel blinded, uh, from knowing what to do to move forward. So I feel like there's this energy of you feeling very stuck. Also having the also two swords, I feel like you're very much in your head, the two suits of the swords. Um, I feel like you are just kind of struggling. So I guess if this is resonating already, then this is a read for you. If it's not, feel free to click off. But I feel like this is definitely for someone who is struggling with some sadness, grief, and loss. The Queen of Pentacles, this was just on the bottom of the deck and I just shuffled it and it came out. So I do feel like you have, um, it's, things are going to stabilize. I feel like you potentially have someone coming towards you, um, whether romantic or not, I'm not sure yet. But I feel like this person acts as this Queen of Pentacles figure for you. Could be an earth sign, but they don't have to be. But there's someone who are, they're nurturing, they're caring, they're protecting, they're providing for you. Um, or they will be providing for you, not only financially, potentially, but emotionally. I feel like they're very emotionally stable. The Queen of Pentacles to me is like a nurturer and a caretaker and a provider. Like they want to tend to and take care of people. So I feel like you have someone very nurturing coming into your energy. Very stable, very grounded, very committed, very loyal. So if it is a love relationship, this could potentially be very long term. But if it's like, could it could be a friend? It could be. Um, let me just get some more information about who this person is coming in. This Queen of Pentacles energy. Oh, that's too many cards. Give me uh, information about this person coming in. We have the King of Pentacles. This is definitely a love situation. These are counterparts, guys. The Seven of Pentacles is on the bottom of the deck. So this is um, a king and queen of the same suit, right, of Pentacles. So this is a soulmate energy. Um, I feel like this is a love situation. I know cups aren't here yet, but I feel like you have someone that's going to come in and be the king to your queen or the queen to your king. Um, I feel like this is a guided pair. This is a divinely guided soul connection this is a soulmate energy this is um definitely long-term commitment marriage so i feel like this vibe of this person coming towards you is someone it's you're going to be like a power couple we have seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck so it could be someone you're familiar with we have two of pentacles yeah um this is like um indecisive energy or like being unbalanced I kind of feel like currently this is like your energy currently with all this grief this loss this you have this imbalance of energy I feel like that this pair coming in is going to be um stabilizing to you so give me more information about this person coming in the seven of wands the freaking empress, I'm telling you guys, and the freaking high priestess. So I feel like this person clearly very spiritual connection. The high priestess kind of keeps to herself um, and doesn't express like outwardly a hundred percent. Like she's very spiritually taps into her intuition kind of keeps quiet and I feel like is almost like an observer, right? Kind of sits back and sees what's happening and makes 
conclusions and makes thoughts and, and decisions based on what she's seeing. We also have the seven of wands. So I feel like this person is going to be quite protective of their heart. Um, I feel like they're going to swoop in and kind of try to care for you, but they're not necessarily going to, um, and the pentacles energy is the slower energy, right? They're not going to necessarily, um, Oh my gosh, like, like jump in and, and say, I love you. I feel like they're going to just do things um, that they intuitively feel you need them to do, like to take care of you, to provide for you, to be uh, consistent for you. This person's very consistent. This person is very, um, like you can depend on this person, but they're, they're very guarded themselves. They're going to keep themselves um, very protected because they don't want to get hurt either but they're showing up as your empress so this is like I said a nurturer a provider this person is abundant this person loves you this is your soulmate so you have a soulmate energy coming towards you that wants to protect wants to provide wants to care for you they want to heal the hurts that you've been experiencing um, again let's let's get some cards on how you might know this person Four of Cups was just on the bottom of the deck, which would be like a potential missed opportunity. Someone you might have missed an opportunity with, but I'm going to get cards on how you know this person. How do you know who this person, how will you know? Because you might not know this person just yet, but how will you know if this is who this is? How will you know who this person is? The Five of Wands, the Magician, and the Moon. Um, The Six of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Uh, the Five of Wands is... uh. That's interesting to me. It kind of makes me laugh. It, it, it shouldn't make me laugh, but it's like um, conflict or competition. I feel like you're going to know who this person is because they're either going to be like kind of fighting for your attention um, or they're going to be someone you kind of bicker with. Like you have these like heated debates, not like arguing like I hate you, get away from me, don't come around, you're so mean, but more just like I feel like you and this person, when you start talking, they're going to kind of get under your skin and you're going to have like these banters, these arguments. You're going to banter back and forth. Um, I feel like this person showing up as a magician, indicating someone you might know, this person is manifesting you and it might be who you're manifesting to as well. So I feel like you're going to recognize that this is your person, whether it's like if you're manifesting a specific person, it will be this person. But if you're manifesting a person with certain qualities, this person's coming with all those qualities. So that's how you're going to recognize who this person is. And then the moon card being here, I feel like this person is going to be like, you're going to recognize how heavily they rely on their intuition. They're showing up as the high priestess and the moon card. Um, I feel like they will reveal themselves quite quickly. Um, um, not necessarily like I'm saying, are they going to say, I, I'm in love with you. I want to marry you, but they're going to reveal like their intentions of the relationship or a relationship that they want. Um, they're going to express to you that they're not here to play games. Um, I feel like that's how you're going to know who this is. This person's going to like not play games. This person is going to be kind of direct on what they're looking for. They're not going to say I'm looking for you, but they're going to tell you what they're looking for. Um, they've, there's someone you're manifesting, so they're going to have those qualities. And then when you do come together, I feel like you're going to have these arguments, um, these like bicker bantering things, but it's almost like they're going to really kind of, um, challenge you i think they're going to challenge your thoughts they're going to challenge your feelings they're going to challenge your opinion and i think they're going to have that like uncanny knack of like just getting to you enough to make you kind of react and then you're going to be like why am i reacting to this? like i feel like it's not unhealthy it's more of a um they're grow you're, you're gonna grow with this person they're gonna they're gonna force you to grow and think and analyze i think um and that's going to be like good, but it's going to be a little frustrating for you. <laughs> All right. We have the King of Cups and they're definitely going to, oh, I can't read. That's the Knight of Cups. Um, They're definitely going to be uh, fulfilling some kind of love gesture. So um, I again, I don't think it's going to be like instantly, but this person will eventually be providing love offers. Um they will be like potentially bringing you flowers or writing you a poem or let's have a picnic or let's go get some wine. They're going to be romantic. They're going to put out gestures of romance. They're going to 
once they're feeling confident because they're they're struggling too with um keeping themselves protected but they are going to be very romantic in nature and put out these loving gestures because they're going to truly be in love with you let's get some outcome cards the hermit the page of swords the six of swords this is funny because um the ten of pentacles oh i only wanted one but I'm not taking this. I only want one. This is interesting to me. The freaking King of Cups. Um, I gotta move these cards. This is interesting to me because I did another YouTube video for the person on your mind, and the outcome was very similar. Like this person was definitely in love and cared so much. It was super attractive, but when the outcome came, it was like the ver the Hermit card. I think the Page of Swords was also there, and I think the Six of Swords was also there for sure. The the Hermit and the Page of Swords. So I'm uploading these both tonight, so watch them both. But um, the outcome is going to be good. I, I feel like this person is currently, like I said, or initially, probably more initially in this situation, if you don't know who they are, um, will be kind of in this hermit mode. I feel like they have pulled themselves away from this dating pool um, making all these big efforts towards finding a relationship and they're focusing on their self, their growth, their healing, their learning. They've been in kind of a solitary energy. I think once they kind of meet you, they're going to be quite intrigued and they're going to do some cyber stalking slash, um, obtaining information from people that you may know. Um, sorry, my dog's tail just gently touched my foot and it kind of scared me. I want to make sure it was my dog's tail. Um, they're going to be seeking information about you from a distance. They're not going to come directly to you and ask you all these questions. They're going to try to find things out. Um, like I said, could be through like social media, could be asking friends of friends, um, or to like, it's usually from a distance, right? Kind of that stalker-ish kind of vibe. But I feel like this person could just be very inquisitive too. And they might have just a lot of questions for you when they start talking to you. And you might feel like it's like... Um, kind of weird how much this person wants to know about you then we have the six of swords the ten of pentacles and the king the king of cups the outcome for this situation is things moving on to calm waters so for you for them you're both going to be moving towards this calm situation these calmer waters um you're going to be moving to a smooth sailing situation we have the freaking ten of pentacles and the king of cups um so i do feel like this is a committed loyal grounded long-term relationship this is marriage this is a blended family so if you have children they have children this family is going to come together kind of like the brady bunch it's going to be smooth as peanut butter right maybe smooth as crunchy peanut butter no i'm just kidding no it's going to be a smooth transition it's going to be um successful it's going to be financially abundant it's going to be emotionally abundant it's going to be stable it's going to be committed it's going to be grounded loyal long-term marriage is what i'm seeing with the king of freaking cups. This is true love. This is someone who is nurturing, empathetic, sympathetic, a caretaker. This is someone who wants what's best for you. This is someone that oozes love for you, shows you that they love you. Um, I feel like this person will be a very much uh, a shower of love. So uh, they will show you how, how much they love you. They might not verbalize it as much. The King of Cups to me is much more of a doer than a speaker. Um, so I feel like this person might just gift you things or might just figure out what your love language is and try to meet you at that um, level. That's not the right word. But they're going to like, so let's say if your love language is like um, physical touch, then they're going to show you through physical touch. Or if it's quality time, they're going to make sure that they... Um, spend lots of quality time with you or if it's um, you know gifts and, and tokens then they're going to be making sure that they're very thoughtful about that this person's going to make you feel very very loved they are very very much going to be in love with you they're going to be in love with you um, let's get a couple of island time wellness oracle cards these love oracle cards this deck was the deck that i was like i'm going to use along with the lunar um, design tarot so let's see what pops out for this reading what are your love oracle cards that you need to know we're gonna get five the phoenix a new phase rekindle renew transformation growth and changed mind 
Um, so potentially you could know this person or this is just someone renewing themselves and growing and transitioning, changing their mind. So maybe it's someone you didn't really think of as a love interest before, but now you're kind of changing your mind. Um, I'm just going to get the, the five cards out. Uh, the second card that came out was Healing Heart, which reminds me of your energy from the beginning of this read. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. And then we have Cupid's Arrow. Whole, um, have faith, love is coming. Surprise, and, um, surprise invitation or meeting and then hesitation. So yeah, I feel like too your person's going to be a little bit hesitant because they got that seven of wands energy. Golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-side relationship, love bombing. I kind of feel like this is what you're healing from, is this um, narcissistic energy from the past. And maybe this person will really um, be understanding and really show you clarity, like that's not how you should be treated. Because I think, I, unfortunately, I know when you've been in a relationship with someone who is very self-absorbed, I'm not necessarily gonna say narcissistic, but very self-absorbed. Um, it can be extremely damaging. Like you can know in your mind what you should expect or what you should receive in terms of a love situation. Um, but this person potentially makes you question things, makes you um, accept things that aren't up to par, makes you take blame for things that you're not at blame for like so there can be a lot of damage that's done so I feel like this person is going to come in to show you um what love should feel like what love should be like um how you should be respected and then we have clock need time takes time in time cycles um time to heal and progress and I feel like you are healing right I feel like you are um this person's going to help you heal. This is going to be a, a process. This isn't going to be something that just happens overnight. Um, but I feel like it's all coming together. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have heart with a key. And it says, welcoming love, meeting the one. Open your heart, getting together perfect. And then underneath that, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, onefulness, and enjoying each other. So I feel like um, you're definitely um, getting to the point Meeting this person, healing, um, getting to the point where you're opening up, they're going to be able to open up to you. You're going to have uh, welcoming love, meeting the one in paradise, guys. Great, great, great read. So that concludes the read. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care.